Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I am your host, Angel Reader Lorraine, and I am here to conduct a reading for February 19th to the 20th for the water signs. That's the Cancer, the Pisces, and the Scorpio signs. Guys, I am hearing finally flowing forward. You're finally flowing forward. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Um, don't say when you've had one too many. Um, but I feel that you was at a, a stop, um, a pit stop, um, and there was nothing you could do. It's as if somebody had put a big massive barricade in front of your path and you was just told to kind of stop. No way forward, definitely couldn't go back. Going back wasn't an option. Whatever you was leaving behind, whatever you had left behind in your past um, water sign, there was no going back. It was definitely not um, an option, okay? So that's the intuitive message that I got for you, darlings. Um, as I said, I do hope that it has some kind of, you know, um, it resonates with you. But I feel that now, um, and also communication is going to be flowing as well. So there's movement and, the, and there's also um, communication. So that's a very good sign. Sorry guys, I just kind of was trying to see if they, you know, if there was anything that's, that's coming forward. But this is very strong. So anything that I can sense right now is that you are finally flowing forward because you're, um, I don't know how long you were stuck in this situation for. But it was quite some time and um, you at first you couldn't find a way out you didn't know what was going on you said you just assumed that you was going to be in there for you know quite a lengthy piece of time okay but um, so guys um, but now that you've been able to it's like the, the the bridge has been lifted the the bridge the bridge has been lifted You're free to flow, you're free to go now. Okay. Um, I feel the reason why, I picked up on bridge, but I'm also hearing that too much water has gone under the bridge. So this is another reason why you couldn't go back. It was something to do, to, like, whatever you had left, you were leaving for good, it is that you took what you had with you. And that was it, you couldn't take nothing else. So um, going back is literally not an option. Guys, let's see what's going on in your reading because it's quite, it, that, that intuitive message is quite you know strong um, to come through in that kind of way. It's a bit like, wow, okay. So, I mean, the cards may not pick it up in this reading. However, um, you've got some form of intuitive insight into the situation. Now, this is if it resonates with you. Do be aware that this is please be aware sorry that this is a general reading it's non-gender specific it's not really pertaining to a specific star sign within the water element so you just need to take what resonates with you okay if it doesn't resonate with you don't worry about it i have to pull you another card you can also check me out on instagram okay just go on to the cover art and you'll find me um, find my link there you've got two things going on here and this one is protection this comes first this one I had to leave under and why thriving so you, when you are facing when you're going through your thriving okay this is about you surviving out there survival of the fittest protection was first you're going to be protected in order for you to be able to thrive It's like you have no choice, but you've been out in the wilderness, you've been out in the wild, and um, but you are protected. You haven't got no choice. I feel that certain things, I feel that what you have learned so far, because this is, to me, this feels like a tree of knowledge. What you have... Um, I don't look at it in this way. Do 
this really does i tell you something about this four of cups i keep seeing the four of cups quite a lot this reminds me of you being protected by the four of cups or the other way around um whoever's watching this is a cross watcher but to me there was a protection there was something to do with the four of cups energy You know, like when you're sitting under the tree and you've got that cup that's been handed to you, but you're not, you're not having it. Because I feel that what was going on with you or with the other person, you needed to be there. You needed it. Interesting. And where you are right now with this card, it's like you've, you've gone through the wars and you know about survival. You know that you're thriving. You're still surviving. You're still thriving. You're still striving. You have it, you're not out for the count to sign. You're still hanging in there. You're still there. You are still there. Now you've got the movement of flowing forward because I do feel with this, this protection card, it kind of reminded me of the four of cups. And usually that's like a rejection, isn't it? Remember, man's um, rejection is God's protection. So what I definitely see going on here is that there was some kind of rejection going on here, right? But you were being protected. You was being protected by if it was... Um, somebody was protecting you from them by re rejecting you um, but you was definitely guided away from this situation remember man's rejection is God's protection but this has got a real strong vibe of the four of pentacles sorry the four of cups so let's see what's going on with your um, your enchanted map tarot because now that you've got the green light you can move forward now can't you Please do take that bit, you know, as it resonates, because it may not have anything to do with you. Now, you've got a new beginning. Remember what I said about you now being able to move forward? You've got the green light, you can move forward, you've got the bone collector. So whatever newness that you've got coming your way, you can now move freely. And I do feel as well that, well, I hope that you're able to learn the life lessons that you had experienced in the past because that tree is also like the tree of knowledge, as I said. So you are definitely gaining wisdom before you start your new beginning. This also reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune because you've got this wheel here and obviously it's like a number one card. So this is definitely new beginnings. And I've noticed as well, with these two cards, is that you're definitely out in the wilderness. You survived that great outdoors. You're out in the wilderness and you're still there surviving. Okay, this is what I'm picking up as well with this. This is really good. This is very strong, powerful energy here. Again, so the cards are coming through with all these very, very beautiful, strong messages. Definitely not out for the count. Definitely, definitely, definitely not out for the count. Let me start with your tarot. Get the tarot cards and see what where you are. Okay, because this is really good. This is this is the kind of news that I like. This is the kind of readings that I like. You know, to give that yes, even though things were really tough, it, you know, in the beginning, my darling, you were still hanging in there. You did you didn't give up because this is your learning curve. I do feel that. This was you surrendering, okay? Life lessons have been taught and learnt and shared, experienced, and, you know, then you've got something that you can take along with you as, as a life skill, okay? This is where you can see this lady smiling. She's been enlightened as well as being grounded at the same time as well. That's beautiful. Spirit, what can you tell me with regards to the water sign energy, please? Can I have six cards? Please may I have six cards? So out of a time when it was really sticky, uncertain, there was lots of delays, lots of barriers, now you've been given the green light. I'm going to take this card, it's the Page of Pentacles. And I do sense that this is about you now finding a new way of learning and thinking, I'm not taking other cards because it's not for you. This card is for you. This card is for you. This is definitely you learning more about yourself. Learning now how to navigate your way now forward. Keeping your feet firmly on the ground. 
and we're hearing like the air is flowing through your hair as it, as you're walking in the breeze definitely got this kind of energy of your you know being out in the the outdoors again and what is also here as well that you're, you're outside again in the world just at like the thriving card and the bone collector card as well holding on for dear life to your <sighs> I've got to take these two I've got to take them okay this card is a knight of ones now it's got two additional cards and I have to take them okay so what I see here going on here is that You've, oh. Okay, sorry guys, I just sort of went into the, like, you know, tarot zone mode at the moment. I see what's going on here. You've learned, I tell you what, you've, you've learned something here. Okay, remember what I said about, it's like you've been given the green light, you, you, you've got experience now, you've been out in the wilderness, things weren't, good for you okay now I pulled the knight of wands but they it came with two additional cards but it has to be done in a particular order okay just bear with me now as you can see we've got the king of cups this is you and then you've got the knight of wands in between you two you've got the five of pentacles so things weren't really going great between you and the fire sign you were left out in the cold or you both left each other out in the cold and there was a lot of financial issues. Okay? This person, um, it, they were just playing around. I don't think they know what they wanted. There was a little bit of in, there was a little bit of out. Um, they showed promise, I'm hearing you say they showed promise. They showed a lot of promise. You wanted more, but they gave you less. They wanted less. As much as the fact that there was a nice connection or there was a, you know, they had a nice personality, it just wasn't enough. And in the end, you knew this. This is what you, this is you le learning about this, about these three cards. These three cards have to stay together, okay? I'm going to pull another four more for you, all right? And see what we get coming up. Also here, sorry guys, okay? But also with this page of pentacles, it's as if you transitioned from the page of pentacles into the king of cups. You've upgraded yourself. So you was probably like a page of cups, a knight of cups, a, a queen of cups, but now you sort of like risen up now to being more older and mature within your um, emotions, okay? You definitely get, got a lot more um, emotions going there because of this page of pentacles. This is about life lessons and learning and probably wanting to study, you know, really sort of like stepping up into, you know, into your, your world, all right? I'm hearing older sister energy as well. So probably some of you guys have an older sister. Um, I'm hearing contact her. Okay, I'm hearing contact your older sister. Um, you've got the nine of wands. So with this energy, I'm hearing, I don't think there's nothing wrong. She just wants to talk to you. Okay, so maybe you guys haven't spoken in a little while and it's that, you know, that sisterly kind of, sibling catcher okay but this is the vibe this is the message that i got through about your older sister your in the older sister energy all right um but with this nine of wands i said to you that you was in a difficult period you was in a difficult time in your life when things were not going the way as they should have been going for you and i do feel that it definitely has something to do with the fire sign okay sorry guys if you can hear my cat bell meowing away um in the background i do apologize i just want you guys to just i hope he's not you know distracting you from the reading um and that you, I, I need you guys to focus on this because this is quite important here all right because i see seriousness in your face here as well you literally had to it's like you fight in your corner you're fighting for your your existence you're fighting for your rights there was something that you felt that was unjust with this fire sign 
Okay, three more cards. But you weren't going down. You weren't going down, you weren't going out. No matter what was thrown at you, um, you're still trying to get yourself in a better position now. I've got the three of pentacles here. Okay? So this is about, um, you know, you focusing on your coins. You know, if you had things to do at work um, or a place of studying because of the page of pentacles at the, um, the top of the card spread. So this is about learning. So this could be you wanting to kind of like go back to some form of institution where um, it's to do with learning. You know, or you know, or somebody saying that, oh, you will never be able to do that. And you're like, let me prove it wrong to you, bitch, okay? Because you you're just not giving up. You're not giving in. You're definitely not giving in. You know, real, real strength here. As and I I just feel that no matter what is going on within you right now, it, you know, when you think about what you had gone through. This is what is giving you more strength to to carry on, okay? This could actually indicate that there was, um, you know, you, you was trying to work things out with this fire sign as well because, you know, wanting to work things out, trying to find your way around and try and see if you can try to come to some kind of compromise with them and, and everything like that. Um, but in the end, it was just like, well, what am I doing this for? Well, who's really benefiting here? Am I benefiting from it am I, or am I still feeling the same? Is this person still making me feel the same? Am I still picking up on the same vibes, you know? Really starting to rely on your senses here. Okay, we've got two more cards. Definitely, some of you could be into art as well. Real... Um, sense of you know like unleashing your creativity as well if you're looking to sort of get back into school studying as well we've got the six of wands so there's a lot of overcoming that you're getting through as well definitely overcoming certain obstacles that um as i said it's like with this this nine of wands energy you are not giving up it's like i'll be damned i'm never gonna let this guy or this girl come and just mess things up for me again i'm not doing it and I feel as if definitely you guys were dealing with a fire sign. Um, but you were just like, uh-uh. You're not going to let this fire sign get the better of you. Because remember, they're coming at you as a knight of wands. And we know that the knight of wands usually are those kind of people that is very, you know, flashy, egotistical. Um, you know, but they are just they're in and out that there's no consistency with them there they did make you feel that you was in this kind of mess do you remember what i said to you about um like you're finally flowing free okay you've been given you like you've been given the green light to move forward i feel that you had to be in this energy a lot okay to really and truly um start to just kind of like work on yourself work your way out and this could actually be an indication of you um sort of like looking after um yourself also um getting sort of teaming up with um somebody to sort of like help you to get out of your situation as well okay and then this is you finally coming out from it but this is definitely what you had to was in it doesn't matter about what order this that the card this card comes out in but this is where you is that like you you could you could have made the choice to stay there and have all of the emotions run you know um escape from you and also uh, you know as well mm. for some of you guys if you were dealing with a fire sign that was very manipulative they were saying really nasty things to you and what it was was it was just really kind of keeping you keeping you there and it seems that it was really quite nasty really quite nasty it kind of had you in your feelings big time Okay, this is what I'm sensing here. The bottom of the deck is temperance. So there's a lot of healing that's taking place. A lot of healing. Emotionally broken down. But you're definitely building yourself back up. Finally. Alright. So let's pull um, some cards. Because I just want to get some clarifications going on here. So with the page of pentacles. I'll leave that to one side. It's not a problem. Let me pick on this fire sign energy. Let me pick on this knight of wands. And see what's going on here. With the five of pentacles as well. 
Spirit, what can you tell me about this card? What can you tell me about the Knight of Wands? What is this person's deal? Why are they in this water sign spread? But things weren't really good between them. What's going on here? What can you tell me about them, Spirit? Whoever you were dealing with, they said some real nasty words to you. Mm -hmm. Very nasty words. Now, there's two cards that's dropped face down. And it's covered the King of Cups, which is you. It's like, to me, this was an indication of that, that what they were trying to do to you, right? Okay. It's like they were trying to block you, all right? Let me see what they are. Yeah. They were trying to block you. You've been waiting a long time, you know, for things to happen and stuff like that, but they, they, they were giving you a conflict. This is not good energy. And it dropped right on top of the King of Cups. I feel you was trying to be patient with them as well. Trying to be patient with them. Trying to hang on, trying to hold on, and, and in a way as well, trying to sort of like ignore certain things that they were saying about you or, you know, I don't even know who, which kind of person you was dealing with, but they are just, nah. You was also worried about money because of the five of pentacles that was in, in between you and them as well. You was worried because you was thinking about, well, you know, in the next few months or the next few weeks you know what is left what where am i going to be it's as if where you had to be stuck is that you had to learn about survival because you've got the thriving card here if you was going to be in this with this person uh, you know a lot longer or whatever how would your finances have been because it seems to me as if this was about a situation to do with finances and making sure that you you know, are stable, financially stable. I don't feel that you were financially well off. For some of you, this is where you need to go back to school to expand on your knowledge. Remember, you had the um, protection card as well, all right? So what's going on with this Nine of Wands energy? What's going on here with this Nine of Wands energy? You felt at one stage that there was no, that you you wanted to talk but you didn't even know what to say where to begin how to start um to talk to somebody with regards to this because i do feel that you was trying to also um play it down that like things you know was all right and it bloody well wasn't darling it wasn't was it it wasn't and that's a, and you know that's the worst thing you could do is when you're lying to yourself you're deceiving yourself darling i'm sorry the the cards yeah I was just waiting for the cards to come out. I was going to say to you the cards are coming out. Um, but we've got that page. Mm. This is what you were fighting up. You are fighting for your, your yourself. You was fighting. No, yourself, you was fighting them. So you've got the page of pentacles. You've got the star card. You've got the three of swords. And you've got the um, ace of pentacles. You, do, you was doing a lot. You, were, you was not going out for the count. This is all going on in your mind and in your heart space as well. Because you were dealing with a broken heart. This person had really upset you and let you down. Okay? But you had a lot of healing that you needed to go through. Remember what I said about man's re rejection is God's protection. So if you felt rejected with this three of swords energy and it just cut you like a knife. You have had to just really just be kind of like in this healing energy. You was being guided. It doesn't matter now what this person has to say to you like right now this is what i'm feeling this is it seems to me that this is what you was reflecting on in the past okay with the three of pentacles what is this what is this three of pentacles here, spirit? what's going on here with this okay what is going on with this three of pentacles card yeah um so my energy thinking of the past I do feel that you was trying to definitely try and work things out um, with the past. But I also see this as well as, you know, when I said, you know, it's as if like you was getting like getting in with a team of people that's trying to, 
you know, point you in the right direction. This feels that like this could be it as well, okay? Giving you that, that incentive to kind of move forward. And also as well, um, because this lady, um, it's obviously the one in her birthday suit, um, but this could have been this person saying really nasty things about your body, really body shaming. And this is what really kept you from kind of like this. You know, they were saying some really nasty things. Okay? That's what I'm sensing. They, 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 they found ways to hurt you with their words. I always say, you know something? It's like, um, sticks and stones may break my bones, but vibes can never harm me. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but vibes can never harm me. Because I say, I, it doesn't even matter about their words. What's going on here is about what's going on with you spiritually. Let them say whatever they want to say about you. Let them try and cut you down. And make them try to keep you in this place of where you can't move forward. But you must not ever, and I can see that here, you really held on like there was no tomorrow. You was like a warrior queen. It was like, I'm not going to be cut down. I'm not going to allow this fire sign person to, to drag me down because they was trying to hurt you so that you could be energetically trapped and that's like att attacking your vibes yeah so that you will be harmed by your vibes or by their vibes if they're riding on a low vibration and you are riding on a low vibration basically you're feeding into this argument you're cussing you're arguing you're fighting then that is hurting you that's keeping you stuck and it's keeping you from moving forward but you needed to just step away from that. The Eight of Swords. I'm not going to bother with the Six of Wands. What's the Eight of Swords about? How did you get into this? Like, how did you get out? What's going on here? What were you thinking? How did it make you feel in this Eight of Swords energy? How did this make you feel? What was going on with you? Water sign. What was going on with you? Two cards. Yeah, that made you feel that you was great and everything, but you was just making sure that you was giving yourself that chance. They, in fact, they wanted to make you have this kind of regret, okay? But you needed to say, you, nah, you got to give yourself that chance, man. Because this person is definitely, 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 it's like, I don't know why this person would be like that. But this was where things just changed for you, okay? And you've got the King of Pentacles right here. Now, guys, this could actually be somebody that was giving you this chance, giving you this offer to help you to really escape from this person, okay? From the clutches of the fire sign, because I do feel they were just a player. Darlings, there was a player. Um, and you, you know, you were just played out. You just didn't need that in your life. But I feel that what was going on with this Eight of Swords, you was in a situation, okay? No doubt about that, you was in a situation. And I do feel that it was, you know, it was, it was money problems and stuff like that, but then here comes this person. I do feel that also that there may be some form of connection with you and them from the past, okay? Could be a friend that's coming back in or an intimate partner. Somebody that you've definitely had dealings with is coming back in somebody who appreciates you and love you just the way you are okay and they always did and they always will and they're trying to offer you this long-term solution like babes don't cry this is what this person wanted to put you in but i'm giving you the chance so that you can join me here in this reality okay but you need to be putting in the work so that you're able to really and truly step up and out from that vibe and then you're able to move forward all right so that's your tarot let's see what's going on with your oracle cards this is the romance angels but to me this feels like this is a happy ending that's why i see with the bone collector this is a newness this is a new chance this is like as i said it's like you're finally flowing free okay see i stumbled on the words already <laughs> And this happens. I've got three cards, um, one side, one card, another. Pick the one in the middle on the left. This is you. Keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. 
okay? So you need to keep an open mind at this situation. Whatever it is that they are offering you, okay? I mean, this could be a new person that's coming in, okay? So you need to just definitely keep an open mind here with that, okay? Bearing in that in mind. Um, but this is something that could definitely work in your favour. Maybe if you had a preference for certain particular people um, all the time and you was always finding that, you know, something you weren't really getting anywhere with them or, you know, that they weren't really ready to step up to the game. I feel that with this particular King of Pentacles, they're ready, okay? I'm going to take the one on the right and I've got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I do feel that you need to make sure that you're, you've got your... You're open to all suggestions. These two cards, babes, are not for you, all right? I'm gonna put those two back. But what we've got going on here is that this is going to be very soon. Now, you know that divine timing doesn't run an hour clock. So this may not say that it's happening tonight, tomorrow. It could be, you know, the next few days, um, next few months, but something is going to be coming your way. Somebody's going to be coming your way. Sorry, guys, I've got to do it. Um, and basically, you need to be ready because this person is serious. This king of pentacles is serious. And you've been waiting a long time to have somebody to really kind of be on your wavelength, okay? Because this is what you're you're wanting. And if they're going to be offering you... Remember, this is the king of pentacles. You've got abundance coming your way. So, you know, what is going on with this fire sign? Really? I sense that there's definitely immaturity there with you and that fire sign. If this is what they were doing to you, and if this is what they was making you feel, then babes, it was as if they just wanted you for your body, and that was it. Or something about you had changed, and you wasn't appealing anymore to them, and they kind of cussed you out. If there's anything like that, then and that was all they wanted you for, then you know that you're going to somebody that's going to value you as a person on the inside, as well as on the outside, all right? Sometimes you have to let go of people that, you know, it's all about this superficial, you know, like just, oh yeah, because you look good, I'll, you know, I'll go with you because you look good. Now, get more information. Get more information. If you are going to study, um, definitely get more information. That's what I'm sensing here. Get more information. And where this is about keep an open mind as well. Get more information. Whatever it is that this person is offering you and you feel that it's not enough, make sure that you speak your mind about it. But keep it cool. Keep it cool because I know you're going to be very much in this nine of wands energy. You're going to be feeling very much um, suspicious. But also still feeling emotionally hurt. Okay? But you just need to make sure that you are in a a way of just getting more information from what this um, knight, or really it's coming from the King of Pentacles, what they're offering you. Because it could be something that you think, okay, well, it's not really as long term as I think it is. Um, or it could be like, damn, it's, it's for life, okay? So definitely just bear that in mind. Just keep an open mind, all right? Would say you just never know. Your whole life could change for the better. And I, I can see that it's going to change for the better, all right? But what this card is saying, just make sure that you keep an open mind and make sure that you get more information this time with this new relationship that you're going to be entering in. Because I do feel with the other relationship that you was in, there wasn't much talk, but there was a lot of action, but not enough talking for you to get to know who this person is. This fire sign person, you didn't really get to know them properly, who they really are, but they showed you in different ways. And I feel that this is where things went really bad for you with this person, with this fire sign person, because I don't think there was much talking involved. There was other things, a lot of sex that was involved, okay? But when it came to talking now, sitting down and having a conversation, it went happening, okay? Right, closing off this reading with the love and light. Let's see what's going on here. We've got two cards. Okay, I am gentle with myself. I accept all of me. And I am honest at all times. I do feel that this person was was really giving you a very, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like that kind of gaslighting, really kind of like making you just really feel really terrible about yourself. Okay? They were making you feel terrible about yourself. 
because the vibe that I'm picking up from this, you know, from this Eight of Swords, they really try to trap you with their with their narcissistic attitudes towards you, to try and keep you blocked. You know, to give you that kind of vibe of like, oh no, but who would want you? I mean, look at the state of you, look at you, look at you. You know, you don't need that in your life. You don't need to have anybody like that around in your life like that. That's going to be disparaging you in such a way that they will do anything. And because you're a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you would take, you know, if you don't turn around, well, I don't know about the, the Scorpios because they'll find a way, even if it's 25 years later, they will still find a way to get back at that person. But I feel that, I'm sorry with the, the Pisces and, you know, sometimes the cancer as well, you know, you you know, it, it, it could hit you, all right? But I feel that this is what they were doing. They, they, they was just being really nasty towards you. And I feel that what you're doing there with, this to me could even be group sessions that you was going for as well, to try and really kind of um, improve your confidence. You could have been going to support groups, all right? To try and get you to be feeling very motivated again, to get that emotional support and getting these affirmations and that you're honest at all times. I'm gentle with myself, I accept all of me. I do feel that there was a lot of, um, you know, like just not liking the way how you looked or whatever, or that when there was an argument, say like if you was a little bit on the, you know, you wasn't like totally trim, but they would say nasty things to you about, you know, certain body parts of, you know, that certain areas of your body, you know, just to really just, just to be nasty, just to really just make you feel that you don't even want to go outside, you know, like if you're wearing a belly top, what are you wearing that for? So everybody can see like more of you, you know, God forgive me for saying, but you know what I'm saying, all right, I don't mean it like, but you know what I'm saying, Donna, I'm just giving an example of what kind of person that you was with. Guys, that person's giving me a headache. I really am glad that you were able to just get away from that person, okay? you done the right thing because you now know that I feel that's part of your life lesson was, was to know about acceptance and that beauty is definitely on the inside. Whenever you see a beautiful person, always look beyond the beautiful because that's where the real beauty lies. Okay, it doesn't lie in between, you know, in between the legs, you know, um, it doesn't lie, you know, on the lips. You just have to make sure that you look inside. That's where your focus should be. How that person makes you feel. If they make you feel like a million dollars and if they give you so much love and they're so grateful that they've got you in your life, then that is a worth, that is a love worth holding on to. But if this person is gonna make you feel trapped in their, in their words of hatred towards you and to really make you feel really like uncomfortable, unconscious of yourself, then that is not love, baby. That is some fucked up shit. That is a relationship that she was in. Not a relationship, okay? No, you know your worth now, you know who you are. You, you're beautiful. Yeah, just saying it. I'm just saying what I'm feeling. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and listening to this reading 19th of February to the 20th of February 2020. Okay, guys, you need to stay, you know, you need to take care of yourself and stay away from toxic people like that. You don't need them in your life. Hang around with people that's going to be bringing out the sunshine in you. All right? You rock. Guys, thanks again. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe as well to the channel and also don't forget you can add me um, or follow me on Instagram where I do my posts a couple of times a day. Alright, so check it out there. Take care guys. Bye.